This is practice problem number four for section 5.2. This says find the net signed area between the curve of the function f of x equals 8x minus 4 and the x-axis over the interval from negative 3 to 2. Um, so notice it says find the net signed area. So unlike the previous practice problem, in this one I'm going to make sure that I keep um, any negatives that I have. So uh, again, I've got two triangles here. I've got this triangle and this triangle. Uh, one is below the x-axis and one is above the x-axis. I'm going to call this area 1 and this area 2. Um, so again, the total area is going to be these areas added together. And I need to find where this function crosses the x-axis. So I'm going to look at where the function 8x minus 4 equals 0. So if I add 4, divide by 8, I'll get x equal to 4 eighths or 1 half. So this is a 1 half. So now um, area 1, again, we're going to use 1 half base times height. So we'll have 1 half. The base is going to be the distance between 2 and 1 half, so it will be 2 minus 1 half. And the height will be the function evaluated at 2, so f of 2. Um, so we'll get 1 half, 2 minus 1 half is 1 and 1 half, or 3 halves. And when we evaluate this function at 2, we'll get 8 times 2 minus 4. So we'll get 1 half times 3 halves times 16 minus 4, which is 12. Um, so let's see, this gives us 36 over 4, which is 9. The second area, same formula. Um, now the base is the distance between 1 half and negative 3, so we're going to do 1 half minus a negative 3. And the height is going to be the function evaluated at negative 3. So we'll have 1 half plus 3, that's 3 and a half or 7 halves. And then when we evaluate this function at negative 3, we'll get 8 times negative 3 minus 4. Uh, so this will give us 1 half times 7 halves times... Uh, negative 28. Um, and this will give us negative 49. So again, notice that I kept the negative here because it asked for a net signed area. So now the total is going to be the first area plus the second area, which gives us a total net area of negative 40.